Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good it's actually, morning. it's not great to stay up late. You get really tired. <laughs> we stay up late all the time. We really do. Um, but we're back at Old Key West. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go see what's going on with this hayride. Yes. Maybe I'll get a cup of joe before. Guess what? <laughs> I got my own pair of Weirwood sunglasses. Yes. Coming in the mail. Yeah, so hopefully they'll be here in the next like two or three days. It will be super cool. They'll be super cool and will be super matchy. <laughs> Hey, where are we going? Waterboat Hay Ride. I'm just seeing what the official name of it was. You think they're gonna tell some spooky stories? I think so. I think I'm gonna be scared. It's just so funny because like it's starting to get warm. Yeah, it's supposed to be 80 today, <laughs> but we got now. sweatshirts on. Well, right now it's not 80. It's and, gonna be like light. that's the high. These are light. Yeah. And we're just this is our morning attire. We're gonna go home after this and then go back out later in the day. So just temporary. Just temporary. I'm, I, I want to know what stories they're going to tell. I know. I hope that we learn a lot of new stuff that we've never known before because if you notice, we love these boats. And we love Disney knowledge, Disney parks knowledge yeah. too. But like I'm just saying, we've gone on these boats a gazillion times, so if we learn something new, we would be like, wow. It'd be like our whole life was a lie. No, it's just going to be like we are enlightened by our life. Good to volunteer. You are up next. There's a channel. That was great. Well, we're back. And we didn't learn a darn thing about the Sasakula River. We thought it was haunted. We thought the Sasakula <laughs> River was haunted. <laughs> And where it came from. And about the treehouse. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Walt like dug the Sasagul River. I don't think it's natural. But you never know. I, know. I know like the main natural body of water was Bay Lake, but the floor is full of water, so I'm sure a lot of these were just connected little waterways. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah. This is the second year that they've been doing that, so if you're here today and you went to it, that's great. Um, it's your only time. <laughs> it's the only time. We should have gone to like a lot of the resorts to see those special, special little events that they have at the resorts. Because that's the magic, you know? That's, that's what really makes... Like, like getting these. Getting these. And there's that cute little boy on the, on the ride. That made, there's like, going to be s'mores here. There's going to be a character meet and greet, which that typically doesn't happen. So, you want to eat? Yeah. Have some breakfast? Breakfast of champions. Coffee and... Candy that. I've never had a candied apple before. I dropped my apple on my sweatshirt and it like rolled down, rolled down my side. So that happened. Sarah just stole my sunglasses. Yeah. But at least I wore like a normal t-shirt underneath it. So we are in Olivia's and these are all the families of Old Key West. We're in this the farthest room. And I don't want to get be rude about these people eating, but that photo right there. Is a photo, is a photo of Sarah and her sisters and her mom and dad. We have made our way over to Epcot. We didn't think that that boat ride was going to be as short as it was. It was wonderful, but we decided that we were going to come to Epcot at night. But we thought we might as well just go straight here, and then we'll still make it in early afternoon and go home. Um, and then if we go out tonight, it'll probably just be a resort or something. Back in the DVC lounge, and I got my like. Coffee from DVC Lounge, DVC Lounge number 42. 42. Can we stop here on right? Mm hmm. It should be over here. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. What do we got? We got Old the Cali <laughs> the cauliflower risotto served with full chicken. Ooh, I didn't know there was meat on there. Yeah. Artichoke, spinach, spinach. It's okay, it looks really good. Parmesan cheese and aged balsamic. I don't see any almonds. 
They also have a fire roasted tomato hummus. Oh no, oh it says that they're made with almond grease almond milk. Oh. So the risotto is probably. This is gonna be good. Parmesan. Ooh, there's Parmesan on it. And that's balsamic. I love Doesn't balsamic. Doesn't it look like a dessert? If anybody has Netflix, watch Chef's Table Season 1, Episode 1. That chef is the best. He has a part where he says, My blood is balsamic and my muscles are parmesan. I thought it was mozzarella. I think it's parmesan. Or mozzarella, I'm not sure. Will that look like heavenly? How was it? Really good. How much was it? Four, four seventy-five? Four, four seventy-five. I want a pot of this. We can make a pot of that. I wonder if it's in the. Oh, uh, well, I think almond orchard's new. That chicken's good. How might? Okay. It's different. Mmm. It is so good. Yeah. I want That's a whole. A good one. We need two <laughs> bowls of it. One for you. One for me. If you like parmesan. Yeah. And you like balsamic. It's almost like fancy spinach artichoke dip. Yes, but not thick though. Hey Sarah. Hey what? What is my favorite cookie of all existence? Any kind of maple cream cookie in the shape of a uh, maple leaf. Are you, like I know, I feel like we, on the weekends we've been coming here to Epcot later. So I forget how slow it is in the morning, but if you're here during food and wine, make sure you come, especially if it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you're on vacation. Come in the before like 2 p.m. Yeah. Because if you come to park open and, and World Showcase will open up at 11 a.m., you can really get some short lines for characters, short lines for food, for food and wine. You can really see everything and not just be And like, enjoy it because right now. Right, right. That's what's nice about today is like we were kind of craving a day at Epcot because that does feel more like vacation each time. So we're actually. Going in the countries. Yeah, we're going in the countries. Anything stuff, like we were just talking to the person in the UK about stuff on the walls that we had never looked at before. So, so we're having a good time. And it's it's pretty, it is warmer today than the past couple days, yeah, but there's a breeze days. and it's not too bad. It's, it's, it's manageable with the breeze. Yeah, this is a good one. Oh my god, so we're in France and we've never actually been able to, like, I've never seen these cases because it's always super busy. Oh, those sandwiches look divine. Ooh. Look at all these desserts. <gasps> look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Croissant, eclair, creme brulee. So we got, what kind of soup? Um, Leet. Leek and potato. Leek and potato soup in a bread bowl. We got this baguette and some water. And we're just gonna relax. We got a great spot in the shade in the back side of France. So if you're ever looking for a great place to have a nice dessert or a sandwich, here's a description of this fountain. Specifically talking about the style that Moroccan artists developed. Abstract design rather than plants and animals and birds. But so. we have, the reason that like, I think that's the reason, but Ep or Peter wore his Epcot shirt to Epcot once. And he took a photo in front of this fountain and he blends into it. And I'll put in the photo here, but that's kind of like what started us being like, is that his Epcot shirt? Well, we got it and we knew it was kind of an yeah, Epcot shirt. Yeah. Like, was, like, very well and then when we but came here, like that sealed the deal. Perfect. Like that made it. That that christened it. I also want the know official if Peter Upcut shirt. If you guys have any like world showcase traditions, like my sisters and I, when we would come on vacation, we'd have to take a set photo in every country, and we have like it's so cool to like look back and be in the exact same spot. But we just like two years later get progressively older and older. Um, so tell me your world showcase traditions. Look at the difference of maybe be maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. We're already much busier. I think we may have found the most expensive item you could purchase in Walt Disney World. 100% jade. See? $25,000. It has begun. Christmas ears, Christmas shirt, Christmas jacket, Christmas pajamas. 
Jammies. Jammies, plush. Look at this sweater. I need this sweater. I need that in XL right away, please. Look at the Mickey on a sleigh. Christmas stitch. Oh, these ears are cute. Sarah would love these. Sarah loves these jammies. <gasps> these socks. I love Christmas socks. <gasps> Look at Goofy's pants. They're quarter. Wow. Good evening, everybody. We are back. I feel like on the weekends we tend to do that where we kind of like go do stuff and leave you guys alone for a few hours. Well, on Wednesday we have a Playing Crazy Button Club artwork reveal. So, so we're gonna probably have a sneak peek of that artwork tomorrow when we take some photos. But because we've been working yeah. towards it, so we're not up until three in the morning. Yeah, it feels on so the good to have day. it all done. <laughs> we're slowly getting better at that after a year of doing it. Well, we like got better and then we moved on here. And things our schedules got all whack, but we are in trying to investigate some more Halloween activities. So we figured, what's our favorite resort that actually is three resorts attached? Oh. Yacht Beach and Boardwalk. So we just parked at the beach club. We might get a bite to eat. We're gonna hopefully find some Halloween activities. Do some spooky things. So far we're looking good. This is right when we walked in. Help us choose which pumpkin is best. Located by Cape May. So here's the first one. Pumpkin one, friends. fish are friends, not food. By Marketplace Foods. Then we've got clean rooms you will have. Yoda from the custodial team. That's so cute. A whole can, the kitchen sink, that's cute, it's by Beaches and Cream. Then we've got, this is Halloween. From Engineering. That's exciting. The bakery and pastry made this fun one, which was really interesting because they used the inside of it. And then the coordinators of training is BB-8. So you text How do we vote? Oh, text. This is Harry Potter font. So if you all want to text, you do text this number. Which one are you voting for? Four unfortunate souls. I'm voting for number one. Voting will end on Halloween, October 31st at 11.59. So here's what the beach club has going on for the Halloween activities. Yacht and beach? Oh uh, yeah, so Yacht and Beach Club really only have real special things going on on Halloween. And the only thing we can really go to is the movie on the lawn by the volleyball court because most of their party stuff is happening at Storm Along the Bay. Which is? Which is an exclusive pool just for yacht. Or just for beach clubs. I think yacht can go in Storm Along too. Yeah, I think you're right. It's just not boardwalk. Boogie boogie pool party. I wonder if he's going to show up. Trick or treating. Well, it's fun for people who are going to be staying here. Yeah. Look at we got a campfire going on. Shoes are quiet. I think we're making s'mores. So this is complimentary. Okay. We, they only give you marshmallows, though. No graham crackers or chocolate. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Yeah. 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 We are more prone to going in the beach club lobby, and we for yeah, and we forget how much we love the yacht club. This carpet. I don't know if I've ever been up here. Check this out. Look at the little lounge bar. There's obviously, there's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be like a pizzeria, but flatbreads. <gasps> this is gonna be so good. And here we have, neither did I, neither did I, but it's gonna be super good. Same number, so we voted too early because there's actually six more. So here we have and At Last to See the Light by the Yacht Front Desk Team. I like that a lot. Yeah. And we've got It's Off to Work We Go by the Convention Services. Cute. Um, not a ton of work category. Not, they just put some toys on that pumpkin. The uh, Princesses on Parade, which is like a parade, like a, each section is devoted to a different princess. I love that one. That's cute. This one looks like the real deal. A magic by the recreation team. Then we've got the beach club front desk putting the heart in hospitality. What is that? Oh, it's Moana. Yeah. And then your carriage awaits. <laughs> to be honest, I'd say the overall winner for me is Pumpkin 7 from the last six. And it's, look, there's lights you can see going and flickering in there. And the beautiful hair and 
these are like floating away. So if you have unlimited texting, please, my my vote is already cast. Someone, two people, should call should text number seven to this number because one will cancel mine out and then a second one will count for my vote towards it. Please and thank you. We're going over to the Swan and Dolphin to see if they have anything going on because we saw these lights. I don't know if you can see them. Here's the cool light show that we'd never realized happened on these palm trees. We found ourselves into the Dolphin, but we came in like a back door, so we're trying to get to the lobby. Oh, there's a steakhouse I think they recently redid the lobby. Oh, there's a steakhouse. Yeah, there's a Shula Steakhouse. Ooh. Oh, there's a food and wine classic. Oh, let's do it. Wow, this place is nice. So I know part of this is wrong, but I believe Disney designed and built this this the Swan and Dolphin, but they are not owned or operated by Disney. They are operated and managed by Starwood Hotels, which is which is Marriott now. So this technically isn't a, uh, a Disney hotel, but it has almost all the amenities of a Disney hotel. And they have character dining here. Character dining you can do. You can do transportation, you can do the um, package pickup, package delivery, all of those kinds of things you can do here even though it's not. Look at this bump in place. This is, this is the food and wine. We just got some Texas style corn dogs. How, how are they? What's that? What's the mustard? They were so funny. I was like, what's Texas style? And they were like, it's just beef. And I was like, what's the must what's the sauce? She's like, oh it's just mustard. I'm like, what kind of mustard? She's like, Texas Jordan. Texas mustard. So is it good? And I think there's like a there's a band going on over here. Are there little bulbs in that chocolate? Woo! What's in there? Cake. Oh, it's a cake pop. I'm gonna stick to my caramel. Oh my god, they're making popcorn in there. It's Caramel foam honey roasted peanuts, sea salt made with liquid nitrogen. Woo! Wow. We're inside Fuel, which is like the little food store. They have Froyo. They have Froyo and a candy bar. This has the feel of like a downtown Chicago market. But this is like from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. This is like the grab and go, I guess you say. Oh, Jones, I love Jones Pop. Oh. And they have San Pugger. And, um, What's that stuff called? Kombucha. What's cool about that um, event was like you could either pay a, a flat price and you literally get unlimited, unlimited everything. Food, drink. The only drink. thing is it's for one day and it's only from 5.30 to 9. So so it's two can, days. Well, the, so, the wristband will be for one day. Yeah, so you pay and you don't like 115 for and you'd get three and a half hours worth unlimited. of food and, food and beverage, but it's unlimited. You could get um, tickets. Yeah. $50 for 20. Yeah. So we tried a few things and it was really good, but I don't know if it would be as economical, especially with like if you were a big drinker, you would have more value out of that. But if you weren't like us, you wouldn't get that as much value. So we trotted through the through the rain. It wasn't too bad, but it was a little bit there. We're now at the boardwalk and look at this spooky setup to have. Oh, it's already done. Cast member pumpkin decorating contest. Thank you for celebrating the creativity, the spooky spirit of our boardwalk cast members. You voted and the results are in. First place, Annette Bakery. Second place, Lexi and Kelly Convention Services. Third place, Stephanie and Steve Flying Fish. Let's see what they have going on. Oh, here's second place. Oh, they have like displays. So here's a, a s'mores. Here's first place, a spooky Donald. That's cute and clever. Oh, I like this cocoa. Well, look at Oogie Boogie. Sarah, did you see the Oogie Boogie right here? Trick or treat. Pumpkin patch of Mickey and Minnie. But here's Cinderella coming out of the book. Here's our third place with Olaf. Is it Olaf? Yeah. And then we've got a Little Mermaid and what's his name? A Pua? Pua. And another cocoa. And this creepy display back there. I love it. I love when the resorts get into a creative sense of like fun between the cast members. Because that's not like that's mandated by corporate Disney. Like 
that's, that's like, like the management like, team yeah. or the customers asked to do that and they did it. Now we got a little turned around but we finally found the activity board for Boardwalk. Just on Halloween. And it looks like they are just having events on Halloween as well with some bingo, some cookie decorating, a Pargo parade which is a, the golf carts. Yeah. Dance party with a DJ. Ooh, a DJ dance party, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Maybe we'll stop by for that. We'll Hocus see, Pocus. We'll see them Hocus Pocus, 8 p.m. So, we told you guys that Eve's surgery is on Halloween. So, there is a chance that she could stay overnight at the vet. If she doesn't, we'll just be home with her. But if she has to stay, there is a possibility that we would do something. Um, so, that it's just kind of like up to how the surgery goes. Because she's not only getting spayed, she's also getting teeth pulled. And so if she comes home, I'm just going to snuggle her all night yeah. on the couch. Or just like let her be, but just be there. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Gonna be, she's going to be... I she's going to be fine. But it's still going to be school. sad. Yeah. yeah. I know, and Monday's like her last normal day for a while. I'm going to treat her like a queen. <laughs> you can tell it's a baseball hat kind of day. Oh. They're sleeping. But we're just, we're home. We had a good night just exploring the resorts and to see what they were doing for Halloween. But we have the vow on, which don't know if we've told you before, but we are both major romantic movie lovers and romantic comic lovers. And this one is the best because we love Channing Tatum, we love Rachel McAdams, and it's in Chicago, the best city in the world. But it's a relaxing Saturday night. I think we needed this kind of a weekend. I mean, like, we were really tired early, but. We had a good day. Good, just good pace. And tomorrow we're going to Magic Kingdom. Alright. Just like old times, I fell asleep on the couch. So it is almost 2 in the morning and I gotta get to bed. I gotta get Sarah in bed and the dog all set up, so. Look at her. She's out. And with that, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>